homework. Everyone was excited. It was half term. For homework, said Mrs. May, I'd like you to keep an autumn diary. Oh no, said Biff. Homework. Chip phoned Gran. We can't stay with you all week, he said. We've got to keep a nature diary. It's homework. Don't worry, replied Gran. We can get the homework done and have some fun. The next day, Dad took Biff and Chip to Gran's. They picked up Nadine on the way. He was going too. It will be fun at Gran's, said Biff. I know, said Nadine. But when will we get time to write our nature diary? They got to Gran's, but she didn't come to the door. How odd, said Dad. She knows we are coming. Let's look in the garden. Suddenly, Gran opened the door of the shed. Surprise, she said. The children looked inside. They all gasped. I made a nature laboratory, said Gran. We can do the nature project in here. It will be fun. Gran took the children into the woods. Let's start with the trees, she said. They collected lots of different leaves. Gran gave Nadine paper and crayons. Put the paper against the tree then. Rub the crayon over it, she said. It's called a bark rubbing. Back in the laboratory, they looked at the bark rubbings. Each type of tree has a different bark, said Nadine. They stuck the leaves in their diaries. Gran had seeds from the trees. We'll plant these in pots, she said. One day, they'll grow into trees. The next day, Gran got up early. She mixed seeds and nuts with melted fat and poured it into little pots. What is that smell? asked Chip. Breakfast, said Gran. I don't want to eat that, said Biff. It's not for you, said Gran. It's for the birds. When the fat is set in the pots, Gran hung them in the garden. We can watch the birds, she said. In the afternoon, Gran took them to a special place in the woods. Now for a secret, said Gran. Look. The children looked around. There were coloured mushrooms everywhere. It's amazing, gasped Nadine. Look, but don't touch, said Gran. At home, Chip found some muds, marks in the mud. Are they animal tracks, he asked. Gran got some powder out of her bag. She mixed it with the water and made a paste. Then she poured the paste onto the animal track. This is plaster, said Gran. It will dry in the shape of the animal track. It's called a cast. They took the cast back to the laboratory. Biff looked up the animal track in a book. It's a badger, he said. I have another surprise, said Gran. We need to wrap up warm and you'll need the sunbeds. Sunbeds, asked Biff. He lay on the sunbeds and looked up at the sky. The sky was full of shooting stars. This is amazing, said Chip. And it's your homework, said Gran. The end.